What is going on everyone and welcome back to Dream Team Chronicles episode 14 and as you guys can see this is the League 1 pack we decided to open it hoping hoping that we'd get Mbappers but unfortunately my bad luck with Mbappe continues because we do not get him I thought I was getting teased here and I thought that I did have him here but it was actually Verratti and I might train up Verratti he looks to be a decent player but I did open the other two as well which was Skim True Skimp Skip yeah skip on through or skim on over skim on over um but we don't get Mbappers obviously or Messi we do already have legend Messi so it's not going to be too much of a big deal but I probably will buy Mbappe he is over a million GP but we are GP millionaires at the moment with over two million so this is the squad that we're going to be rocking this is the first game that we're going to be playing we're trying to get into division four this guy's team is pretty pretty weak compared to mine in fairness um you know he's going to probably struggle to contain my my midfield and he's going to find it hard to break down Vieira and Makalele because they are just absolute beasts in this game but it was just I'm still struggling man I'm still struggling with the gameplay I've tried to kind of slow down my play and try to play a lot more possession but I still do kind of back what I said originally when I played it I hadn't played it in maybe about two or three days and I've been playing it for a bit over the last couple of lunch times and it just it just feels like there's a lot of defensive assistance there that I just don't like. Uh, it doesn't suit my play style. It doesn't suit how I actually play. Um, now, I do make a lot of mistakes as well, you know what I mean? And I, I kind of get frustrated sometimes when people play a different style of game than me. Um, and it does kind of get in my head. So that's something that I need to concentrate on. But you'll just see, it's just it just seems kind of, kind of sluggish. And I think he gets a bit unfortunate here. Obviously, the lack of him having a dominant center back there going up against Romario, who's the best in the business, I think, all around. I think him and Romanegi and Eto are probably the best three center forwards out and out, pound for pound in the game. Um, but yeah, in this game, like, I mean, I never really felt uncomfortable or like out of control but there's just certain parts of it that you're just going to concede goals as you see there it's just a little tap in but we get back to winning ways it's a bad pass out from Davies getting into Romario Romario is going to ride the challenge get absolutely butchered by Thiago Silva and again that's what I'm talking about that's a really clean tackle manually which is good from him but then he gives a bad pass and now I've got the counter attack going this guy was trying to shoulder barge me the whole time and I just kind of I just kind of ate the pressure up and then this is a lovely ball in here from Corona who's been doing bits since we started him again. I missed him. I missed him a lot, Corona, lads. He is an absolute beast and I will be getting a jersey with his name on the back and uh, wearing it on stream quite soon around the videos but yeah I mean it just feels sluggish man that's just to me obviously you can you can get some really enjoyable games out of it I still do think the base core game is there I still think it has you know it has flourishes of brilliance in it you know the wing play the intricate passes and all that when it flows it's brilliant like the bursts of acceleration I think there's a good balance between missing shots and kind of scoring shots and having that user um Inter, you know that user kind of like uh interference or whatever or what you'd say like that what you can control with the user is very you know very positive but i just find as well that there's a lot of silly bits and you'll see in this in in this as well like I, as i said i was completely on top of this game but this is kind of what i'm talking about you know like you'll see De young here it's just a it's just a terrible terrible pass but then it's not about the misdirection or about the miscontrol it's the standing up and like stopping and the whole defensive shape of my team just kind of stands up but 3-2 70 minutes on the clock we need another goal who's going to get it it is that man again Romario who's doing bits for us as usual Messi causing damage little fake passes it into into um himself kind of and then he's going to cut back again we do get the corner I didn't really know what I was trying to do there lads to be honest with you we've got two balls on the pitch and I do find with a lot of this as well that when you do get a chance you have to take it in front of goal and I find that like there's a lot more kind of chances created from nothing like an interception a bobble as I've said I try to like limit chances and play a little bit more possession this is I think was a good move good uh finish there as well from cloud who doesn't get off and he on the score sheet but when he does he makes uh he makes sure his celebration is on point tiger wood style um and he just pots that home a little cheeky chip in home but uh Makalele has been game changing for me in that dmf role i think him and Vieira are just perfect you know they're absolutely perfect but from here again you know i just tried to control the game a little bit i wanted to get that fifth goal because i felt that this guy was pushing forward but 
yeah, I just feel like it's just kind of one of these uh, one of these experiences now at the moment that you can see Pedri here with the dancing feet, and when you do pass it to Vieira, he is a bit heavier in to control and stuff, and I like that sort of stuff in it. But what I don't like is the inconsistency of it, you know, because sometimes Vieira will control it like Pedri, sometimes he won't be able to control it at all. You know, I'd rather it just be that, look, Vieira is going to be clumsy on the ball compared to Maradona, compared to Messi, not have it inconsistent. Maradona came on as a sub in this game, just doesn't have the pace. Um, you know, he's never going to threaten, like, to, to take Neymar's place or Ronaldinho's place, I don't think. I haven't really trained him up that well, but he is, you know, a really, really good player. I just smash it with Haaland here on the right foot. Easy is as easy does with Haaland. He is a beast of a goal scorer and this guy decides to tap out just before the end of the game. We had a good few quits in this game or forfeits, whatever you want to call them. But we do get up the points for that. We have now got 20 wins in that. As you can see here, De Jong is the only player left to train up. The rest of the boys are fully pumped up. So we're one point away from remaining and uh, staying in Division 5. So we do want to get that at least. But we do have a really good record here. Obviously, in the last episode, if you missed it, we did have a 3-1 loss. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, the team that we have at the moment, lads, we're very, very strong and we're going to be able to compete against most players, um, to be honest, you know, at least if we are going to be playing a 4-3-3 or a flat diamond type of uh, formation. And especially when you come up against a guy like, you know, he's got Lewandowski. This guy is obviously playing a sub tactic. He's going to switch and Lewandowski is going to go in. I see a lot of people doing that. This is my sub tactic. It's very 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 aggressive it's only if i'm chasing a game or if i'm looking for a goal uh before half time or you know 70 minutes on the clock or whatever and i can spring a 4-2-4 because the midfield lads is probably the biggest downgrade i think that's happened since v1.0 i don't think that there's a massive need for a midfielder once you've got a stopper and somebody to chase the ball like you've got Vieira Makalele that I have in my squad once you've got somebody to chase the ball around the pitch and then you've got an absolute stopper that can just get interceptions and bobbles and mistimed tackles and all that sort of stuff just to break up the play that's all you need in midfield and then obviously it's all about the strikers so we get off to a really good start here Romario he tries to manual goalkeeper I think if he hadn't manual con control that keeper there I think I would have probably missed the shot because I don't think he would have fell for the dummy or for the lob um but we do get a cheeky selfie with Romario, Haaland and De Jong. What a foursome that would have been in the day. But Or threesome, I should say. That would have been in the day if those three had ever played together. But yeah, I mean, as I've said, a couple of the comments in the last video was me. You know, I was complaining about like the lack of possession game. And then obviously, I find a lot of people that play possession game. They play possession game, but they try and completely nullify you. As in, they keep 75% of possession and they don't even have one shot on target. You know, that to me isn't possession gameplay. That to me is like anti kind of like trying to control the ball so much that you can't do anything. Now, we see this kind of like contextual uh, interception. I don't really like that sort of stuff, but it does happen, obviously, and they have to balance it a little bit when you are breaking down the attacks. You know, it can't always just be clean manual um you know, like tackles or whatever or positioning because obviously the AI need to do something rather than just stand around. And that's the balance that they need to keep continue to find. So, Son, lads, I'm trying to do a bit of a player review with Son. He's not... <sighs> He's not really doing it for me. I don't know why. Obviously, I think it's because I have better strikers up front. Romario. Obviously, I think Haaland is doing a bit better for me as well. Now, Son is an exceptional player. He is boosted up to the nines. He is completely, like, fully maxed out. And his stats are ridiculous. What about that for a header from Neymar as well? I think they've tweaked the headers a little bit. Because I'll get one or two you'll see in the next, ep next match as well. Um, but yeah, apologies as well as I haven't done any live comms and I haven't done any videos left because I actually am doing up my office a little bit um, uh, and I will be basically just moving things around and stuff. So I should be back quite soon, but we do get another forfeit there with only 15 minutes on the clock. 2-0 and the boys are just going to be chilling out there I don't know why I didn't skip over this lads but yeah, I thought that that was a fairly good goal. I'd say he was probably raging that Neymar scored a header like that. I mean... Ibrahimovic would have been proud of a header like that so we do actually get another win we are now safe in the division we should get division four lads we need we need what a point we five games left um and we have an 80 percent win ratio so far in this so last but not least the episode or this match we are going to be playing against kino's club this guy had a really 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 strong team one of the strongest teams that we'd come up against all day and sometimes when you're playing against guys like this you just have to kind of continue to do what you're doing sometimes i get in my head that i'm like okay i'm gonna to have to match this guy for match you know matching this guy or whatever um and just play your best team and try and kind of play your possession 
game or whatever and like I kind of analyzed straight away in this game that I was going to go down the flanks because I thought that this guy was going to be very direct he was actually a good player um he got a couple of lucky breaks at the start I think that should have probably been a penal um and what about this for a pass onto Corona Corona's been doing bits for me lads he's just so good he's just he's just a perfect winger he's got the feet he's got the speed he's got the dribbling he's got the ball control he's got everything and he's able to get crosses in as well look at this just holding the play up take two men out put it into a dangerous area at the at the front post and it's a simple tap in from Romario and this was kind of a game where I felt completely in control and when the connection is right and the connection controls a lot of that that you're not like a half second behind or you're you've no input delay and you feel like all your passes are just really slick you can do tricks like that like with Romario there square it to Neymar it does a really stupid contextual um a dribble sometimes that works the touch works sometimes it doesn't again i don't like stuff like that at all i know it looks nice and when it pulls off and you can have a nice clip out of it but let me do my manual you know stuff myself just control the ball like i don't need a big fancy flick and i know as you said it is only for or as i said it is only for some players that do it but yeah i was just kind of holding possession here picking holes and uh, trying to exploit that space spreading it out wide and then using my wingers as best as i possibly could diaz was on he gets the overlap here lovely ball in from roberto carlos from the right foot diaz from here is going to just i'm just going to hold it up wait for neymar to get into possession put it in and then it's in the back of the net neymar is unreal in the air lads as well he's just the best player in the game i think let me know what you guys think but i definitely think he is one of the best players in the game if i had to do with my top three at the moment based on what i've played so far i would probably put Vieira number three i would probably put romario number two and i would probably put neymar number one that is how much i actually um rate him i think he's absolutely incredible i think maldini would probably be four um he is unbelievable as well since i've put him into that position right in there but i do think that up in meccano is a beast as well if i had beckenbauer or somebody else there as a dmf but again lads you'll just see right 40 minutes on the clock i'm just trying to get another goal maybe just to kill this game out i give it out to corona again we've got the split on here corona lovely ball in here to paddy v paddy v is going to try and cut inside into a mario and it's in the back of the net and i score a lot of goals like that very simple just walk it in and uh yeah i mean you can't score an easier goal than that the keeper you you could have 10 keepers in there they're not saving it it's just the angles and it's just the way that the shots go in um so yeah that is it les we do get promotion up from division five i don't know will i have another will like have time to finish out the divisions because yeah i mean it just needs to be extended a little bit man for me i mean as i said i only play at lunchtime um that's when i get the time to play and record so I'm not going to be able to sit down and smash six, seven games a night, unfortunately. I will try to make a little bit more time for more videos, but we are going to be doing, um, obviously, the option file as well for the new season with PES 2021. But we do get into Division 4. We will have a bit of a teaser on the option file as well. That's coming, lads. I will be starting a Master League in PES 2021 as well with the new option file because there's a serious amount of detail got into it and all the squads and kits and everything so uh yeah that's something to look forward to if you're interested in that but let me know what you guys think how v1.4 is playing at the moment lads and let me know your top three players so far i'll be interested to hear your thoughts all right lads i'll talk to you later